Hello everyone, Merry Christmas! Today, again, I'm gonna give you some more free stuff. So this time, I'm gonna give you four templates. You know, it's called LC Tweets. And as the name suggests, is to imitate Twitter. But before the start of today's video, please remember to subscribe to this channel and like this video. Thank you very much. And remember to comment if you have any questions or, you know, just to show your support. I love reading all your comments. Let's get started. So first of all, you have to download this folder this LC Tweets folder and the link is in the description box and once you have downloaded this folder you can always you know double click and you know see the numerous subfolders to check if all the templates are there and of course you have to install this folder to your Final Cut Pro so how can you do that first copy this folder go to go home movies motion templates and just go to the titles folder and just paste it over here LC tweets and after that restart your Final Cut Pro go to the titles tab and you can find LC tweets and they're over here full of them for titles so now I'm gonna show you how can you apply them on your video clips since it's holiday and I'm gonna enjoy my own holiday I'm not gonna show you every single thing it's pretty self-explanatory so I'm gonna show you only two of them so first of all is this one this one is the very standard Twitter one. So I'm just gonna drag it to the timeline like this. You can see that, you know, at the end, there are three things that is popped up. So first of all, the first thing to pop is like, second is to retweet, and last is to comment. So this is pretty much like those YouTube subscription videos. And how can you adjust all the details? Come over here to the titles inspector. And first of all, you can change the position like this, the X and Y axis. And of course, you can change the rotation as well. And you can change the scale. So I'm just gonna scale it down a little like this. And there's also a default build-in and build-out. So for the build-in, it's just like a small pop. And the build-out is another small pop as well. You can deselect them, of course, if you don't want to have any build-in or build-out effects and let's get into the details so for example your name you know your name is definitely not the same as mine and this is a fake twitter account please don't follow this guy i have no idea who it is and you can always change the name the text say steve and as you see there's a huge blank space over here and the blue tick over here so you can always you know change the verification tick over like this you know dragging it on the X and Y axis if you want to move it up a little bit yep that will do and of course you can change the subtext as well for example you want to change to Steve yep that's the only thing you have to change and you can always change the reply option as well yeah, if you don't want to have this reply to Twitter you can always just click on it and go to the text inspector as well and change for example this is not Steve you can change to jobs replying to jobs and of course you can go back to the titles inspector you can change it over here as well and yep that's pretty much the first feature I want to show you secondly you can always make your background transparent like this as well as the background shape so now it's rectangular you can change it to round one so the angles over here the four corners will be round edges other things will be you know those pop-up of all these you know comments retweets and likes you can always turn them off over here and you can change the number of retweets say 10 and quotes 10 likes 10 and you can change the position by just you know, dragging over like this 
lastly you can always go to the drop zone over here and click on this drop zone and say you have a photo over here just, yeah, just hit apply clip and that's all you need to do and change the avatar position like this yeah pretty simple okay the second title the second template that i wanted to show you is the photo one actually it's called twitter pics as usual you can just drag it onto your timeline like this and go to the titles inspector you can always just you know turn on the dark mode like this pretty simple pretty self-explanatory and change the shape to a round one and you can off all the comments likes and retweets and you can change the names the replying options like just now deselect it and that's pretty simple and build in build out scale position rotation everything the same however i want to show you something else so first thing first you have to have an avatar for your tweets to be realistic so of course as usual i'm just gonna put my picture over here and change the avatar position to a suitable position like this and once i'm satisfied it's done and next you see this is a picture and i want to you know put the picture over here so i can select the drop zone over here and if this is a still image you can just you know select it from the timeline or from the media pool anywhere and hit apply clip and that's all you need to do and you can always change the position of the picture like this and please remember i didn't include a scale uh, you know kind of a feature over here because i don't think it's necessary but if you guys really want it you can just drop a comment and i will include it in the future editions and that's all you need to do pretty simple and you know once you hit play there's the pop-up and yeah it disappears yeah on the other hand if you want to make this picture moving one say a video clip a compound clip please do not just you know drag it from the timeline because this is going to be a still image like this it's pretty stupid so please go to your media pool so for example this one is a moving you know, video a video clip you can always say select a point let me a marker over here and and go to the titles and go to the drop zone go to this exact moment on this marker and hit apply clip and once you hit play it's going to start at the exact moment where you put the marker and of course you can change the position as well and that's pretty much all i wanted to show you today pretty simple pretty short video and for the four pics it's almost exactly the same but you can't change the position of these photos because you know i'm kind of lazy during the holiday season and the first template is almost the same and please again at the end of this video remember to subscribe to this channel and like this video hope you guys have a very very happy christmas and you know you can always comment to wish me merry christmas as well even though i don't really celebrate christmas thank you very much and see you next time bye bye